About a month ago, I created this bubble machine for my kid. And it's pretty basic. I took a stick on of those bubble making uh, games for kids. And there's a servo that does this. It dips it into the soap water that is here in the container. Then move it up to here. And this is a homemade fan that I'll show you the other side in a second. It blows air and blows bubbles. Well, it works. It doesn't work all that great. And this coming weekend, just before the weekend started, there was a huge storm and it was outside on the balcony and it got some rain damage I'll show you in the back. Let me turn it and I'll give you some more information on it. So this is the back side of it. When I build DIY stuff, I prefer taking whatever I got lying around and not buying anything. I admit my drawers are a bit full than, than most people are. And this is the back side of the servo. This is the DC engine that is uh, in charge of the fan here and I'll show it to you in a second. And this is a board that has um, an age bridge already on it and this is the reason I've used it so I can operate the DC engine without having to buy an age bridge or create one or whatever. Um, I'm gonna show you the fan now and explain to you a few things about that. So this is the other side of the fan and what I did is I took a bit of cardboard, made a disc, took four wings like that and just hot glued them all together. The problem is that since I was doing it really fast, uh, it's not accurate and what happens is, I'll turn it on and you can hear, you hear that? It's extremely unbalanced. So I'm gonna rebuild that part as well. If you find this video useful, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel. I mentioned before that there was uh, water damage so of course this part was covered like this and this is an intake hole and it just got ruined and there was a leg here that was holding it like this and again it's got totally ruined so I gotta rebuild this part as well. place the fan back in and it's working much quieter as I've seen before and now the only thing I've got left to do is to put this back here the cover with the intake all in it with some hot glue and we'll be done two more things I want to do before I'm gonna do a, a proper test to run it is I want to add this here to make the out all of the air a bit tighter and closer to the actual stick and the second thing is replace that broken uh, cardboard leg with this plastic one. I'm just gonna hot glue that in the back. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go fill up with the soap water and see how it works. So I hot glued this into place. I made some tests and it seems to be working much better now. And one thing, well, and I glued this leg here as you can see. It's mainly so it won't flip backwards. Last thing I need to do is to have to glue this here, catch the wire a little bit so it won't be floppy like this, uh, fill it with soap and water and we'll see how it works. Here are some bubbles. The last thing I wanted to show you is the code for the bubble machine. It's pretty simple. I'm including a servo library so it'll be easier to handle the servo. This is the start position in degrees of the servo. This is the end position. This is when it's dipped in the water. This is when it's facing the fan. Uh, the motor direction pin and the motor PWM pin, this is driving the uh, H bridge. Uh, motor desired PWM, I'm, I'm using the full speed of the, of the fan. Um, defining an object of a server, I'm setting this variable so I can keep position uh, with the variable. Uh, I'm setting it to the start position, defining the motor pin and the motor PWM pin as outputs and setting them both to low so the engine won't start. Attaching the server and sending it to its start position, meaning sending it into the water. 
In end the loop, all I do is I move it from the start position to the end position, meaning from inside the water to where it's inside when it's in front of the fan, and I'm writing the position and I'm delaying for 50, sec 50 milliseconds. This makes the movement of the servo slower, so it won't splash when it goes out of the water. Then I'm starting the motor, I'm delaying for 1.5 seconds, or 1,500 milliseconds. I turn off the motor, I delay for another 250 milliseconds, and then I'm taking it from the end, the, the servo from the end position back to the start position, meaning back into the water, I'm delaying another 250. 50 millisecond letting the dip being inside of the water and we're starting over again well i hope you like the video I, and if you build man uh, leave me a link in the comments and please subscribe to my channel